Hi, I'm Andy Johnson. I'm Jack Rushka. I'm Teresa Pagan. I'm Benjamin Van Doren. And I'm Ben Barkley. We're members of Team Redhead, the undergraduate birding team going to represent the Cornell Lab of Ornithology at the 30th Annual World Series of Birding this May. This is an annual fundraising event where teams converge from around the country to find as many bird species as possible during 24 hours. The funds that we raise during this event will go to directly support undergraduate research and conservation projects. In the past three years, Team Redhead has raised over $80,000 to support projects spearheaded by Cornell undergraduates. Take a minute to listen to a few who have benefited from this amazing resource. I'm Hope Batchelor, and I'm a junior at Cornell. I'm studying ant-following birds, a super cool group of tropical species that rely exclusively on insects flushed by army ant swarms. Because army ants are nomadic, these ant birds need highly specialized behaviors to successfully follow the colonies. This past summer, Team Redhead funds enabled me to travel to eastern Ecuador for a pilot field season. This summer, I will return to Ecuador to investigate how ant birds eavesdrop on each other's songs to help find swarms. The Redheads Fund has played a crucial role in allowing me to study migratory shorebirds on their breeding grounds in subarctic Canada. At first, I was helping a PhD student with his research on Hudsonian godwits, uncovering unknown migratory routes and learning about the species' response to climate change. But thanks in a large part to the Redhead Fund, I've been able to return for my own thesis project, deploying tiny tracking devices called geolocators on the legs of whimbrels. And these will allow me to identify areas across the Western Hemisphere that are most important to the bird's migrations and at the highest risk of being lost. Hi, I'm Shaylee Shaw, a junior studying biology at Cornell University. And this past summer, I used money from the Redheads Fund to go to Schultz Marine Lab, where I worked as an intern studying a breeding colony of herring gulls. In addition to my job monitoring nests as an intern, I also had the opportunity to conduct my own project, where I looked at whether herring gulls encode more information in their alarm calls than we had previously known. I also got to write in my results and present them at the annual meeting of the Wilson Ornithological Society, which is a really cool experience because I got to share my research with other people and hear about what students from all over the country have been doing. Hi, I'm Ricky May and I'm a pre-vet student here at Cornell. I came here with an interest in all things animals, especially birds. At Cornell, the Redheads Fund has sponsored several epic birding club trips, providing me with some really unique opportunities. At Braddock Bay, I had a chance to visit a major banding station and see research in action. My favorite trip so far has been the one to Algonquin Provincial Park in Ontario, where we had some intimate experiences with great gray owls. It was incredible. In the birding club at Cornell, I have connected with a community of other undergraduates who are very knowledgeable about birds, and having the opportunity to learn from and interact with peers who share my passion has been a really valuable part of my undergrad experience. Hey, how's it going? My name is Glenn Seelzer, and I'm a graduate student at the Louisiana State University Museum of Natural Science. And around this time in 2007, I was a junior at Cornell University, and I was getting really excited. Now, it wasn't just that Cayuga Lake had finally thawed and spring migration had started. It was also the first year the Cornell Lab of Ornithology was to sponsor a student team in the World Series of Birding. The first undergraduate project that the Redhead Fund supported was an expedition to Peru led by Mike Harvey, Ben Winger, and I. By 2007, we had our sights set on something bigger, our own research expedition to a remote and unexplored region of central Peru. Our goal was to document the diversity of bird life in this region for the first time. No one had ever been there, and nothing was known about this region. Our expedition was a huge undertaking, and would not have happened without the support of the lab and, of course, the Redheads Fund. But long story short, it was a huge success. Not only did we all make it out alive, but we had a pretty amazing adventure. To cap it all off, we stumbled upon a new species of barbet, which we were thrilled to be able to name in honor of John Fitzpatrick. This expedition catapulted all three of us into our careers as neotropical ornithologists. Ben is now a graduate student at the University of Chicago and the Field Museum of Natural History, and Mike and I are graduate students at the Louisiana State University Museum of Natural Science. We still consider our expedition in 2000, 2008 to be one of the high points of our lives and our careers, and we are forever indebted and grateful to the Lab and the Redheads Fund for supporting us. I am continually impressed by the ambition and drive of the Cornell undergraduates at the Lab, and I see the Redhead Fund as an integral catalyst to the success of their ideas as it was to ours. 
I hope all will join me in supporting the Redheads in the World Series of Burden this year by donating to the Redhead Fund and to undergraduate research. Best of luck to the team this year. Go Big Red. Please consider supporting the Redheads this year and the projects that the fund makes possible. In a time of increasing student interest and decreasing funding availability, your support helps the lab say yes to more students with great projects.